Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to prepare the vendor reconciliation statement in Excel spreadsheet. So before I start to prepare the vendor reconciliation statement, I would like to tell you some additional information related to this. All right. So basically, there are the five steps for reconciling any statement like vendor reconciliation statement. The step starts with the bringing the statements and ending with calculating the closing balance of the second statement. That is. We have to follow these five steps to complete this any reconciliation statement. All right, that is we have to follow the bringing the statement step. Then after the deciding the first statement to follow, identifying the closing balance of the first statement, adjusting unique duplicate or any error transaction in the form of aid or less, and finally calculating the closing balance of the second statement. Similarly, if I talk about the debit and credit rule or in the form of aid or less in this you know statement, we can see we can do it like this. If the debtor or vendor book balance is given, then the calculation should be based on the creditor book balance. Similarly. If the creditors or our book balance is given, then the calculation should be based on the debtor book balance. All right, you can see under the both statement we have you know the two condition. That is, if the profit in debtor books or our book, then we have to add that is loss in the creditors book or customer book. Similarly, if the loss in the debtor books or our book, then less should be done. That is profit in the creditors book or customer book. All right, and. In this you know statement the rule are same but similarly under this statement the, if the profit in the creditors book then we have to add that is loss in the data books and if the loss in the creditors book then we have to list that is profit in the data books all right and we have uh, some additional two notes the note number first is under the vendor reconciliation statement we maintain the creditors account second note is if the first statement is start with the customer or creditors book then it will end with vendor book or data book similarly if the first statement is start with the vendor book then it will end with the customer book all right okay so now let's start to prepare the vendor reconciliation statement by taking an example All right. Here, here we have a two statement. That is the debtor accounts and creditors account. The debtor account is prepared by IST Company Limited, which is our supplier, right? And uh, the creditors account is prepared by the ABC Company Limited, which is our company. And this company is going to prepare the vendor reconciliation statement. All right. Now the reconciliation statement is done after adjusting the unique duplicate or any error transactions in this you know statement the vendor reconciliation statement can be prepared by identifying the unique duplicate or any error transactions from these two statements and then we will adjust in this statement by using this format all right so under this statement we have a two sections that is the aid or less sections in these sections we will put the adjustable transactions Right, and we have a two, you know, gap tail that is this one and this one. Here we will, you know, put the closing balance of the first statement, whichever we will, you know, select. It is depend on our choice. All right, and here we will, you know, calculate the closing balance of the second statement that is opposite to this statement. All right, which will be calculated here. All right. So first click here and I'm going to select this statement as a first statement and put the closing balance from this statement here all right so first click here and type the you know statement like balance as per vendor book and now press the tab and now click here and put the balance this one that is three lakh fifteen thousand rupees and now press enter key all right now click here and write the statement balance as per our book okay now click here and here we will calculate the balance after adjusting these two sections all right now let's start to identify the unique duplicate or any error transaction from this statement all right we have found the one unique transaction in this statement and three unique transactions in this statement you can see and the transactions can be identified by you know matching the invoice number and the transactions with these two statements the, the identification process will start with the opening balance and ends with the latest transactions of the company all right okay you can see all right here and here all right so now let's adjust the identified transactions in this statement by you know reviewing the transactions nature 
all right so first i'm going to you know start with this statement so in this statement we have the these transactions all right which is goods sold by 60000 rupees at this you know invoice number and this transaction is not uh, recorded in the creditor's account right so based on the our rules we have you know started with the vendor book but the calculation should be based on the our book so this balance is uh, you know reduces the balance of the creditor's account which is the loss for creditor's account so that this transaction should be put under the less section all right so click click here and now i'm going to type the transaction goods are sold but not recorded in the creditors book and put the invoice number rst hash 75 and i'll press the tab and i'll put the balance 60000 rupees all right and i'll press the enter key okay now we are done from this uh, you know statement now i'm mo i'm going to move in this statement and in this statement we have this one right that is the paid through check number 092021 of rst hash 75 invoice number that is the payment is made of these transactions that is uh, this one all right which is not recorded in the data book, right so based on our rules this balance you know reduces the balance of the creditors account but the calculation should be based on this one so both condition are matched so based on the nature of these transactions we have to put this transaction under the less section all right so click here and type the statement payments are made but not credited in the chapter book and now put the you know reference number rst hash 75 and now press the tab and now put the balance 2 lakh rupees and now press the enter key all right similarly we have the next transaction is goods purchased of 30000 rupees all right so this transaction is not uh, recorded in this you know statement that means this balance is increases the balance of the creditors account which is you know the profit of this you know statement and according to our rule we have to follow this statement for a calculation because we have started with the data blocks all right so based on this we have you know gained the profit so it should be you know put under the aid section so click here and you know tap the statement goods are purchased but not recorded in the data book and put the reference number rst hash 729 and i'll press the tab and i put the balance 30000 rupees and i'll press the enter key now similarly we have the last one is you know goods return of rst has 730 that is this transaction has been returned by 15000 rupees right which is not shown in this you know statement that is the data account these transactions you know reduces the balances of the creditors account which is you know loss or you know expenses of this unit you know, statement and according to our rule the calculation should be based on this statement so this transaction should be put under the list section all right so here i'm going to tag goods are returned but not recorded in the data book and now put the reference number rst hash 730 and now press the tab and now put the balance 15000 rupees and now press the enter key all right now click here and now let's you know add these ranges all right so for this press the equal to sign tap the sum function now press the tab and now select the range from here to here and now press the close parenthesis and now press the enter key all right similarly for this one click here and now let, let's add these you know ranges all right so for this press the equal to sign tap the sum function now press the tab and now select the range from here to here and now press the close parenthesis and now before press the enter key click here and put the negative sign here to show the balance in the negative form all right and now press the enter key now for balances per hour book it can be you know calculated by adding all these three value okay so for this press the equal to sign now sign now type the sum function now press the tab and now select the uh, you know value these comma this comma this and now press the close parenthesis and now press the enter all right you can see the 70000 rupees as per you know our book which is showing here that means our calculation or preparation is correct all right let me tell you one thing here the balance as per any book or any statement must be matched with the you know physical statement right so according to you know preparation the balance is you know matched with this statement all right if the statement will start with the our book 
the closest with Vanderbilt. All right. So according to this, we can see this balance showing this one and this balance showing this one. All right. So guys, it's a very easy to calculate it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any query related to this, please ask me in the comment box below. And if you find it useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Signing off.